So how is going on folks? In this video I will try to show you how to how to free up some of this space from the local disk C drive in Windows 10. Now I do upgraded my computer from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 and it was a nice uh, to have this operating system. Windows 10 is really a solid operating system and I really like this like this way how it works. So anyhow, so uh, w once the Windows 10 done installing in this computer for legacy support it actually keeps all the Windows 8.1 installable and the Windows 10 installable uh, files in my local disk C drive. Right here I'm showing you where. Um, if I go into the local disk C drive Here's a windows.old folder here it actually keeps the windows 8.1 installable files or files for exactly the legacy support and there is another folder which is hidden so if you want to view that folder you need to first of all uh, show all the hidden items and here it is the windows um, bt folder where it actually keeps all the windows 10 installable files but one of the problems is that you cannot just select and delete these file folders. In order to get to it, all you have to do is to go to the my computer and then in, just right click in the C drive and go to the properties. And then you want to go into disk cleanup. Click on the disk cleanup. It will take a few seconds to calculate the total amount of dump files. Alright, so it's done its calculation and now here is all the options that we can do play with and make sure that you choose all of them. But before you're going to do that, we want to clean this button right here, so like clean up the system files. Either the windows.old or windows bt folders will be invisible here. So click on that and it will take a few minutes to complete. Alright, so now that it's the cleanup is computing the dump, the amount of dump files. I'll be come back when it's all right. So here we have the final estimation, and now now you can see the Windows upgrade log files and all of this stuffs like there. And there is the Windows Defender uh, options available also, but I think Windows Defender it it has all the uh, definitions for the malware or the viruses, so I would keep it just blank. For security purpose but I'm not ex exactly sure what it does but okay so for the security purpose I'm gonna just leave it blank I'm gonna choose this one and as well as the downloaded okay so then if you all right so here's the big deal the previous Windows installations almost a 10 GB it's a very big space and you can also clean up the recycle bin if you want to and the retail okay so this one as well and then the temporary windows installation file this one as well and the um, finally okay so there's almost 16 gig of my local DC drive which is really huge and if you take a look at I have only 8 GB right now available from the 63 gig and now I'm gonna clean up a lot amount of data so I'm gonna just press OK and it will prompt up a message like are you sure want to Permanently delete these files. Okay, delete these files, please. And it'll take a little while, and I'll be come back. All right, so here's a new prompt up uh, message. And basically, if you clean up the previous Windows installations or temporary installation files, you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to the previous version of Windows. Are you sure you want to do that? Uh, I think yes, because I would never when I go back to Windows 8 uh, so for myself in my case I wanna press the yes button but if you wanted to you can press the no button okay so it depends for me it's yes Alright, so now we can see that uh, the previously I have only 8 GB free in my computer in the local DXC, 
and now I have almost 24 gig free which is huge gain over for that right so um, yeah so that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching oh but before I go um, there's a caution that please make sure that if you like to have the legacy supports please do not delete the Windows old folder okay thanks for watching